I am in a bus. Imagine that. And these wonderful ladies here have a really cool layout. I will respect their privacy and not show the rest of the bus. But uh, anyway, they did a really nice job with the cabling in here. They used suitable sized cables, but they were having an issue with the inverter shutting off. And when we turned the inverter on, the voltage, the input voltage on the inverter jumped way up, like 15 volts, and then the inverter shut down. And the charge controller back here was giving some odd readings, just very low charge rate until we turned the inverter on. So for troubleshooting, we started checking voltages. And back here across the positive and negative, we were getting 15 volts. It's like, well, that's odd. So we turned the inverter off and the voltage dropped back down. So I started tracing back and we checked voltage at the batteries, but we're only getting, after we disconnected the charge controller, we were only getting, you know, millivolts up here. And so what that tells me is that the charge controller and not the batteries is what was providing the 12 volts DC on this bus over here. And of course, when the inverter was on, it drew more than the charge controller and the panels could provide and it would shut down. So we started checking voltage back. We had 12 volts here. We had 12 volts here, but not there. And so what we found is when we, we figured, okay, it's somewhere in this connection here or in this cable. And when we started to move the batteries to get access to this terminal so we could take these off, we found that this is loose in here. So that will be an easy fix. We've got a hy hydraulic, we have a hydraulic crimp tool and we'll pull these off, take the heat shrink off, recrimp all these cables with the hydraulic crimper and we should be golden. Or they should be golden. You know, with your mm. voice, very calm and... Uh, oh, I, there were things I wanted to say about I, that last bus that yeah, were not you were, calm. you were really nice about that. <laughs> So what we're doing is crimping these with a hydraulic crimper. If I close it, it will work better. We're doing a preliminary crimp and then we'll go around and really fuse these together. They'd been crimped with a hammer and they held up pretty well, but one of them came loose and we're just doing a good perimeter crimp with the hydraulic tool. So we'll do that and now we'll go around. I'll put in a smaller die here. You could just keep filming. <laughs> All right. See, and I age myself, Debbie, by saying filming because nobody oh. films anymore. What are you videoing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but filming sounds so much better it than does. videoing. Videoing? Uh -huh. It does. We're gathering digital pixies. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you sleep last night? No. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Right, Thank you. Same here. direction, or do we turn it? It, it doesn't matter. Okay. And see, there's a little bit of a gap in there. The dies are not bottomed out, but it's taking a considerable amount of force, which is good. So that means we're fusing everything together. That'll be good. And then we'll put some heat shrink on those. That won't come off. No, it will not. Right. And then we'll let you get back to looking at bus layouts. They did a nice job. That is so homey and cozy. And... <laughs> All right, nice. and we'll just do that with the rest and then put some heat shrink tubing over them. On the ends, just to protect them. And... <laughs> All right, we are protecting these cables with some heat shrink. It's got an adhesive inside, so when it shrinks on there, they they glue themselves and glue themselves in place. Now, you originally did this over the stove, which worked just fine. It works great. I've I've done a lot of heat shrink with lighters, propane torches. Chili's taking a little while. Yeah, fresh start. So those are really well crimped on there. They are like mechanically fused with the copper. They won't come off. 
It just shows how much vibration there is in a bus. Easy peasy. While you're working on that, I'll show you. So these were done with a hammer, which worked. You got to do what you got to do with the <laughs> tools you got. And that worked for about three months. But during the, the shifting of the batteries, one of those came loose. Beautiful. Super skookum. All right, we'll do the red and then install these. Move up, move up, move up.